no matter the end of the century or the era, we really have received, we do agree that we have received a, a generous gift. And we live the gift every day. So, so be with me here today. Just close your eyes for a minute. Just, just go ahead and close your eyes. It's okay. Just for a couple of minutes. And forget about the tribulations and the homework and the challenges that you have. And, and dream a little bit. Realize for just a minute that we live in a wonderful country. A free country. We enjoy freedoms and independence that many nations, even now, do not know or only have recently discovered. And once discovering it, realize how difficult it is to retain the freedom. How do you keep the country free? That's where the veterans come in, and you sure saw it in the, during the song and the flash. The veterans protect the freedom. That's what they do. The veterans protect the freedom. Okay, you could open your eyes now. Because you know, at this very moment, American fighting men and women are on duty right now, right down the street at Naval Base Kids at Burlington, or up at Naval Base Kids at Bangor, or out on the USS John C. Stimmis, or in a hill in Afghanistan. We're on duty right now, protecting your and my America. And like those in uniform for them, today's soldiers and sailors and Marines, Coast Guardsmen, and Marines, proudly live their legacy. Our armed services is the largest melting pot in our country. Our heroes of today, as of the past, American Indian, Black, Hispanic, White, Asian. They all fight together for the rights that we get to live with. How about our Constitution's First Amendment? Freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to assemble, freedom to petition, and freedom of religion. Veterans also look to plan for our country's future, and we work hard at strategies to avoid war, to stop them before they happen, to keep the peace and to win the peace, to keep the world safe for our young people. So if you are a veteran, or you know a veteran, or for the adults here, if you're married to a veteran, thank you. Thank them every day. Thank them for me and for all the uh, folks on active duty. If you are a veteran, I surely appreciate you. And I thank you for your service. Tomorrow is distinctively your day. If you're a veteran in the Marine Corps or on active duty in the Marines, happy birthday today. Today is the Corps' birthday. Maybe finally to this Catholic assembly. You know, many assignments during my 30 years in the Navy uh, caused me to work alone. Uh, being a captain of a Navy ship is a lonely job, and I had the honor of commanding three ships, so I had a lot of loneliness. I made numerous decisions alone that would affect hundreds of people. In my younger time in the service, I went into dangerous areas alone. But I never, ever thought that I was alone. I never thought of myself as being alone. God was with me. I was absolutely sure that wherever I was, the Holy Spirit would take care of me. And that however it worked out, Jesus would make sure that I was okay. Here I am. Please believe this in your lives. It's a very comforting feeling. You're not alone. It will give you the courage to make the right decisions and to live in His image. Now, I thank you for inviting me here today. I'm honored to be here with these veterans. And I'm very proud to be a veteran. Thank you.
is our nation that has been blessed throughout history that in times of turmoil or crisis, we could rely on fellow citizens to take great risks in themselves and their lives to protect us. Even in this time of war, the sacrifices borne by families, we have young Americans who continue to raise the right hand and honor those who have sacrificed everything. It is this pursuit of ideals and principles greater than itself that keeps our great nation free. These principles of service are part of the makeup of who we are and what we do, and are part of the fabric of our culture. That today is important for many reasons that cut across cultural lines of our nation and over the generations. Whether we realize it, we sense it, we recognize it completely, we are part of a great circle of community, history, and tradition, where one generation cares for and nurtures the next. We do not know most of the men and women who have served before us. They are veteran servicemen and women. They are the kid next door, down the block, living uptown in the cities, or over on the farm. They have served our nation well, and we continue to do that proudly today on board John C. Sennett's, serving our nation from the North Arabian City on, on board this fine and mighty warship. We miss our families and friends greatly, but it is our honor to serve our nation. We carry their example with those veterans who have gone before us with us. America's veterans are really their true culture who may answer this call, this call of service, early in their respective lives for some and for some later in life, but we all serve proudly. The interesting thing about service is oftentimes you do not recognize that you're actually doing it. We do not wake up in the morning and think about our life's work in those terms. Instead, we think about what we can do for other people, how you can help in their development, how you can make a difference in the world around us, how you can be an impact player and live a life of consequence, a life that matters. President Johnson, President Lyndon B. Johnson, once said, ours is not a spectator society. Those who choose to serve play on the line of strings and refuse to take a seat in the stands. And certainly, sailors of war John C. Sanders are serving proudly every day, making an impact for our nation. This is the service that we recognize and that we honor on Veterans Day. Veterans offer themselves. Sailors serving today offer themselves. We choose this profession as a vocation and a calling, with satisfaction as a true reward and at personal risk often to ourselves. They are the true treasure, veterans are the true treasure that a family provides to nation. There is not a more powerful force, and I would say to you today that there is not a more powerful force than our sailors serving aboard John C. Sanders. We're proud to be from Burlington, we're proud to serve our nation, and we want to say thank you to all the veterans, many who are serving, uh, or who have served before us, who are there with you today in the assembly at our Lady Starbucks seat. Thank you so much for your service and thank you for allowing us to join you today. Thank you.
Elena, just say, come on down. Uh, 
Um, Jack Polly, come on down. Um, Will Malloy, come on down. Nick Osbrooks, come on down. Okay, how many do I have? 